Kuru, 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 Atete, Lada Okolo, Sabala Atala, Abele, no, no, Osobunda, Kalada Obozozi Alate. Anyone believing God for an empire, if you shut them and receive your help, I came to profess over 4,000 people. Your enemy will change your position. But anything that you have started, can I pray for you? You will complete it in a hurry. I came with that. I want children. Anyone believing God for the fruit of the womb, carry your children. Job chapter 1 from verse 18 and 19. While he was yet speaking, there came also another and said, Thy sons and their daughters were eating and drinking wine in their elder brother's house. And behold, there came a great wind, or the light of the world, great wind. From the wilderness, or the light of the world from the wilderness, and smote the four corners, or the light of the world, the four corners of the house, and it fell upon the young men, and they are dead. And I only am escaped alone to tell. I have escaped alone to do what? To tell thee. I have escaped below to do what? To tell thee. I am preaching on what a title, evil wind must stop. Him. Look for 29 people, tell them evil wind must stop. 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 Before you take your seat, open your hands. Let me pray for you. Open your hands. Wherever you are watching, distance is not a barrier. I want to pray for everyone that cares to listen. Everyone that cares to watch me. Everyone that cares to answer amen. I decree upon you wherever you are. Every demonic wind that has been blowing your finances away. Every demonic wind that have been blowing your helpers away. Every demonic wind that have been blowing your peace of marriage, your academic, your success, your victory, your happiness away. I decree, if you shut them, it cease today. If you shut them, it cease today. If you shut them, comes to an end today I don't know who I am talking to this morning I came to arrest every evil wind that do blow your finances away that wind that do take you from up to down that wind that do reduce you by year that wind that take away good things from you if you shut a man I put a stop to the wind. The Bible says in John chapter 6 that Jesus' disciples were crossing onto the other side. There arose a mighty storm, a great wind. Let me pray for you. On your way to your success, any wind that is waiting for you, if you shut them, I command it to start. Hey! Why did I say so? I am assured by the Spirit of God that if there are negative winds, there are positive winds. Please, child of God, listen to me. In John chapter 3, in from verse 8, he says, He that is born of the Spirit is like the 
wind that blow it. Somebody hit your neighbor, say wind, no, they carry wind. Wind, no, they carry wind. Oh my God. Uh -huh. Do I have people in the house? Yes, sir. Stop your neighbor, say wind, no, they carry wind. Wind, no, they carry wind. He said, he that is born of God is like a wind that blow it. No one know it. What happened to others? Let me pray for you. Uh -huh. It will not succeed in your life. Hey! Thank God. I have few people in the house. I said, what happened to others? Uh -huh. And it succeeded. What brought others down? What made others poor? If you shut them, it will not succeed in you. Hey! I did not know. If you are a child of God, you are born of wind. Uh -huh. You are like a wind. No one can predict you. Yes, Am I talking to somebody now? Yes, I remember when Elijah was to depart in Second Kings chapter 2. The Bible said, There yeah, arose. After he crossed Jordan, there was a wide wind that came to carry him. Where there is trouble, where there is accident, where there is poverty, where there is sickness, the wind of God will take you out of that place. Hey! Let me pray for 300 people. This week, in the midst of trouble, in the midst of trials, in the midst of tribulation, if you jump up and shout a man, the wind of God will take you out of it. will be back in a moment hallelujah god bless someone out there watching i want to use this great opportunity to congratulate our father in the lord apostle professor johnson suleiman for your birthday you have been a father to many your life have actually affected me affected my family affected everyone around me you are a man that god have used to wipe tears away from my eyes you are a mentor, you are a father, you are a counselor, you are an advisor. I am I like words to have actually describe the kind of person you are. Your heart is undescribable. I don't just know what to say, but I want to say on behalf of all Omega children in Edo State, Nigeria, on behalf of my family, on behalf of all of the ministers, on behalf of Omega Fire Ministry being one members, we want to say happy birthday to you. We wish you long life. We wish you prosperity. We wish you, uh, uh, I mean, what God has for you, that you will not die young. You will see your children, children, children. I want to say happy birthday. And we are praying for you. And we are proud to have you as a father. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. The place you read, the Bible says something that I so much like. Abalakotombra yada setil. In Job chapter 2, the verse. 18 and 19 the bible said there was a man called job and a message came to him and said your children your children job was having seven sons and three daughters he said your children we are eating and drinking or the light the world eating and drinking in their eldest brother's house and there came a mighty wind from the wilderness uh, and blew the four corners uh, of the house uh, and the children died uh, child of god let this uh, gentleman you will agree with me uh, when a wind uh, come over an, uh, a house uh, it does not take the corners uh, it takes the roof yes sir if you agree with me can i see your hand when a natural wind comes upon a house where will it take the roof shout now where will it take the roof but the wind that killed the children of job did not take the roof the bible said it took the four corners it took the four corners that is to say the wind was not ordinary the wind was demonic am i talking to somebody i did i know that the wind was demonic it was said that i took permission from god to
to send the wind so the wind was coming from the devil child of god your marriage that got broken was not ordinary your relationship that cannot work out is not ordinary your barrenness is not ordinary your delay is not ordinary your joblessness is not ordinary there is a wind behind it your rising and falling is not ordinary your sickness that you are be going to is not ordinary one problem i have with christians is that they feel that what they are going through is normal what they are going through is part of life what they are going through god wanted to go through i disagree with you there are things that happen in the life of christians that are not ordinary that miscarriage you had is not ordinary i did i know the gift of the lord make it rich i had that no sorrow when god gives you a child he will not carry the child am i talking to somebody now yes, your children that are wayward is not ordinary because it is written that the children that the lord has given unto me are for signs i wonder the word of god can be broken so for your children to be wayward is not ordinary the barrenness we are fighting is not ordinary the scripture says no one shall be barren in the land the word of god cannot be broken there is a wind blowing somewhere there is a wind blowing from somewhere the autonomy that in your family is not ordinary one thing i will say when i meet job one thing i will ask him job one day your rich is gone one day all your children we are gone one day your head was gone and you open your mouth and say the lord brings and the lord takes that is an error that is an error god cannot take your husband god cannot take your wife god cannot take your children god cannot take your business god cannot wreck you for the thought he have to ask me i of good and not of evil so give me an expected death you know sad you sad and mighty god Bless you, hallelujah. This is the voice of the son of the oracle, Pastor Azemia Zena, coming your way using this video to reach you to especially invite you to worship with us at Omega Fire Ministry Plot 2 Wayek Road at Duawa. Child of God, listen to the special and crucial program that we are organizing just to transform your destiny. Every Sunday by 6 30 a.m. is our celebration service. Have you been asking God when will I celebrate? Child of God, this Sunday be my guest at the time is 6 30 a.m. Every Monday, I'm organizing a powerful service to attack barrenness. Anyone that the doctor said you can't carry your baby is tag and must dedicate my baby. Hebrew Women Meeting is 10 a.m. 10 a.m. Every Tuesday by 4.30 p.m. is our word encounter. And don't forget, every Friday is Operation Jabe. And Jabe cried and God heard Jabe and changed the destiny of Jabe. And every fourth Saturday, Paravetro, you could 
could not make it to come on Monday, every first Saturday of every month, I am still repeating a program attack. I must dedicate my baby. We are repeating it to just make sure that those who were not around on Monday can be part of it every first Saturday of every month. You can come this very Saturday that is coming now and God will go to locate you and give you your baby. And let me say this to you now, every second Wednesday, second Thursday, second Friday of every month is a powerful program that I've been doing for years now. It's called a Fire Night and Miracle Night. And all this program are in one venue. And where is that? Omega Fire Ministry, Lotu Wayek Road at Duwawa. I don't know what somebody has said about you, but I want to say this to you that God is still saying something. If I see your face in any of these services, I know you can never go back the same. God bless you. Good to know you are there and I'm waiting to welcome you. God bless you. Hallelujah. My friend, my brother, my sister, my mother, my father out there, God has mandated me to organize a very unique service tag, renunciation service. Are you a court member? Are you an armed robber? Are you a kidnapper? You are committing one crime or the other and you think that nobody will see you. This is a time for you to gently renounce and the security agencies have assured us that no one will arrest you. Are you with one thing or the other that you are using for that evil? Bring it on the 1st of April 2018 at Omega Fire Ministry Block 2 Wayek Road at Tuwawa. But I bet you, you can't call with the gun and you want us to intervene. Maybe there's a way you are afraid. We will tell you how to go about that. If you renounce, I will discover that you need business. We are going to assist you in all areas of life until you become somebody. Come and Jesus is resurrecting. Resurrect with him and live a new life. God bless you. How can you be going through miscarriages to say that God wants her? Utoge. Okay, no. You lied. Job, you that was the richest in the East. Became the poorest in your world in less than three hours. Less than three hours. Everything that happened to Job was within three hours. Less than three hours. A rich man became a poor man. And you said God brought and God took. You had ten children. All of them died one day. You said God brought and God took. All your prosperity vanished one day. You say God brought, God took. God gave you a husband, He took the husband again. Why? God took your marriage, God cannot break your marriage. He said, Whatsoever God has joined together, let no man put asunder. Even Himself cannot put asunder. So your marriage, God broke home because there was an evil wind. Your children are dead. When I meet dead financially, they cannot perform. Not because God killed them. Because there is an evil wind. How come about that you were, that was giving money to people, now you borrow. In less than three years, you are wrecked down. And you say it is the will of God. I came to handle that issue in your life. Uh -huh. Anything that has been blowing what you have away. Uh -huh. If you shut them, I put a stop to it. Hey! Evil wind. Evil wind. Must stop. Evil wind. Must stop. Evil wind. Must stop. The Bible says. That the evil wind came and blew the four corners. Please, my point one, which I have said before, let me run through them, is that he blew what? The four corners. The Bible says he blew the four corners, the four corners, the four corners. Ladies and gentlemen, I can see a a, a wind blowing the roof. I have seen a wind we blow the wall and the wall fall. But this one had a concentration. It concentrated on the four corners. Why did it concentrate on the four corners? Because it is the four corners of a house that carried the house. Yes, sir. 
when this wind is blowing, it targets that thing that hosts you. That thing that gives joy. That's what it targets. The four corners. So, when this evil wind is blowing, it doesn't blow anyhow. It targets, it goes after that thing that is your pillar. It goes after that thing that is your backbone. This is where I want to talk to women briefly. Because most of our women in our generation are becoming too careless. Child of God, your husband is number one corner of your backbone. Am I talking to somebody now? Have you discovered when your husband died, your name changed? They call you a widow. They call you what? Your name changed. When you are alive, your name is Mr. I mean, your name is Mrs. But when you die, they say, we widow. Meaning you are exposed. Widow. They open you. Open to an attack. So what will you do for your name not to change to a negative one? Protect the backbone of your house. Your husband at a time can become the backbone. So when the wind is blowing in the house, the first target is your husband. The first target is what? You know why? When you remove the head, the body is useless. Talk to me now. Who is the head of the family? So when you remove the head, what is left for the body? The body is useless. That is why everyone listen to me now. The attack, the wind that is coming most time to most family is on the man. That is why you see that you see more widows than widowers. Talk to me now. You see more widows than what? Widowers. You see women who don't have husband than men that lost their wife. Why? The wind that do blow, it target on the pillar, the strong, the pillar, that thing that gives you joy. And another thing you should know that may be one of the pillars that it will target may be your first child. Am I talking to somebody? Because it knows when your husband is gone, the next person to take over is your first son. This is where many of us miss it. Your first son today is nothing to write home about. Why? The same wind as blowing. Follow me. The same wind as done what? Yeah. I blew him. At the next attack at home, when it comes to the house, is that thing that gives the family joy. It may be a job. It may be a car. That's the next target. In the city of name, in the city of name, what give the, gives the widow a, 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 I mean, what was her backbone was the song. The husband died. She was not having children. She only had one child. And one day the wind of death blew and took the child. And the woman began to cry. The question I asked myself in the city of name, there were many women who had many children. Death did not take theirs. There were women there that had seven. There were women there that had eight. Death did not visit them. I come about that is only that woman child. The only child. The only child. That was what it came. The wind came to take. Because that was what gave the woman joy. That was what made her proud. I read my Bible in the book of Matthew. When John the Baptist, a girl was dancing. Ah, ah, ah. A girl was dancing, and the and the stepfather said, Anything you ask, or to the half of my kingdom, I will give to you. I was expecting the child to ask for a biscuit. Since he was a child, children ask for biscuit. I was asking, I was expecting to ask for bobo. I was asking to I was expecting to ask for capiso. I was expecting to ask for sweet. But the child did not go into all this. He did not ask for ice cream. He did not ask for meat pie. He went to ask the mother. And the mother said, Ask for the head of John the Baptist. Even though you need a head, why must it be the head of John the Baptist? There were women that have four children. You did not ask for their child head. But John the Baptist was the only child.
sight of the parents and you were asking for the head who is asking for your head let me prophesy anyone that asks for the head of your children asks for the head of that thing that gives you joy if you shut them they will use your head to pay for it for another head but the only person you ask a child that took the mother several years to get a child that after he came another one did not follow he happened to be the only child the parents were still alive who will bury Zechariah who will bury Elizabeth where you take the head that was the only man who was supposed to stand at the group of Zechariah to bury the father. John the Baptist supposed to be the one to stand to bury the mother. But the enemy took the head because that was what gives the parents joy. I don't know that thing that gives you joy that the enemies are after. If you jump up and shout them and they will not succeed it. Hallelujah. I know you were wonderfully blessed by that ministration. Uh, the, wind, the evil wind must stop. The evil wind must stop. I don't know what has been blowing you. I don't know what has been taking away good things away from you. But I came to agree with you this moment that that wind will stop in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I want to say this quickly to you that when things happen in your life, don't take them for granted. There is a reason, there is a power behind it. Everything that happened to Job, Job never knew that the devil was behind it. He thought it was a normal thing. God brought and God took it. Don't be an ignorance of the devices of the enemy. Your job was taken away from you. Your marriage suddenly got scattered. Or you are now living by, uh, by ejection and all that. There is something behind. There is a wind blowing. There is a wind blowing. There is a wind blowing. But I pray for you. Every evil will blow in your family, every evil will blow in your business, blow in your career, blow in your academy. Today I command it to stop in the name of Jesus. Just as Jesus stretched forth his hand and commanded the, storm, the wind, the storm to cease, I command the storm to cease, the wind to cease in the name of Jesus Christ. I don't know where you are watching. Have you been blessed by our program? I want you to send us an SMS, share your testimony with us. Tell us how Tony Point has blessed you. I will be glad to receive it and also reply you. You want to be a partner to this program. Someone make sure that this program got to you. Why not make sure that this program also reach somebody through your financial contribution? There is a number on your screen. Send us an SMS how you want to become a partner. Wherever you are, will tell you how to go about it. And the Lord will bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Wherever you are, I want you to worship with me at Omega Fire Ministry Plot 2, Wayek Road, at Duwama, Bini City, Edo State, Nigeria. Wherever you are, the distance is not a barrier. Have in your mind that anywhere solution is, is not far from you. I know your solution is waiting for you at Omega Fire Ministry. This Sunday, come at the time is 6.30 a.m. God bless you as you come in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for watching Tony Poe with Pastor Azeme Azena, the son of the Lord. I see